so we're getting ready to start tiling our floor. Got my mortar mixed, got all the pebbles pre-cut to where they gotta go. And you'll, you'll see how I slide. So let me show you. So this will be my first piece. And you see how it goes right into the gap and into this gap here. And what that gives me this piece coming down over the top. That line there is just perfect. And same thing, once I put my piece in here, that line is just perfect. And uh, on a shower pan, that's really hard to do. So I use this trick to uh, help me do that. And what's nice is that this shower pan uh, is basically, it's not attached to this at all. So any water will drip down through the ground and then leave down here, but this water will never wake up. Um, yeah, so I'll show you how this goes. right here so this is my scrap pebbles <clears throat> and then you just start taking them and seeing which ones work best in here not that one that will go there see I need a tiny one pretty much just repeat this whole process all the way around so now that we filled this in let me just show you on this side tile comes in, look at that edge, that's what we want to see, but we're going to grout it first, fill in all those gaps, and then same thing around here we're going to do, alright. Alright, so now I'm working on piecing in these holes around, I want to get as much rock as possible around this perimeter just so it drains and water doesn't pull up and pull up in these areas. So this rack, this rack, this rack, this one I use my um, grinder to do. Here's you trace it over, put a little thin set on the back. Use your little grinder to shape them. So. Look at that. Can we should take the sharp edges off so there's no sharp edges. I'm gonna do one more here and one more there. The longer ones. Let's see how that looks. Here's our last two pieces. We we'll start with this one. That should go right there with the moon shape. Get a little thin set on the back of that. There. 
very well. Here's a drain. So all this is ground down. Make sure you press this. Just want to make sure there's no sharp edges anywhere on here. That's good. We're gonna let this sit and then we'll grab this tomorrow. Awesome. Alright, <clears throat> so I got my floor washed four or five times now, I'm not sure, but the grout is set. Um, I just did a couple hours ago, and then I'll do a couple more times tomorrow and really scrub it. Um, but first I did my layer, my last layer on the bottom, and uh, I'm not gonna grout that yet, or today, I'm, I really wanna make sure that, because my grout on the floor is a little different than my grout on the walls. So I wanna make sure that this cures 100%, so when I do try to wash out the other grout, I don't want them to blend at all. So I'm just going to wait for this to, to dry for tomorrow. <clears throat> um, but as you can see, I'll show more tomorrow once the, the wall is done as well. But the line here is, is just perfect there. So I um, really like this method. It's super simple. Uh, probably one or two extra steps to do, but uh, it just comes out so, so nice. Um, and again, I'm using those uh, Spin Doctor clips. Really happy with those. Um, yeah, so we're uh, ready to uh, ground our walls tomorrow and uh, go from there. Thanks, guys. So here is our finished floor. As you can see, it's just a perfect cut that goes right underneath it. So it's so nice to tuck that in. You can see that the grout's a little different on the wall as it is on the floor. But and then look at this. It's exactly how we want it. That's what our floor looks like.